Hi everyone, welcome to the BioEdge. The uh, so-called theory of evolution, of biological evolution, um, has never been stated precisely as a theory. And so it means uh, different things to different people. Um, but it appears that, that there's a fair consensus among evolutionists that the essential conceptual model behind biological evolution is a combination of random mutation and then natural selection. Now, random mutation simply means that the genes change spontaneously um, in ways that are subject only to chance and nothing else. And then this provides candidate genetic um, alterations that can then be um, subjected to the actual uh, mill of trial and error in the real world to see which, which uh, mutated um, aspects of the, of the organism actually wind up being adaptive or, or viable in the real world. And so to repeat then, and, and please bear in mind that there, there, this is not, this is not um, clearly stated anywhere in, in the literature, although it's, it's widely believed. Uh, you know, the basic biological model of, of evolution today in 2015 is, is random mutation followed by natural selection. Now, what we've never seen before um, is, is a, a logical analysis of this. And it appears to us that <clears throat> even the most rudimentary logical examination of this whole theoretical structure um, is life-threatening to the idea of, of random mutation followed by natural selection for a very simple reason. And that is that the genetic nature of the organism, including its method of mutation, its mechanism of mutation, is itself a biological um, feature. And so whether the, the, uh, the method of mutation is random or not, should itself be subject to natural selection. If, if the method of mutation is not um, something that is, random, that is uh, subject to natural selection, one has to ask, well, where did it come from? Um, and it's a bit like you know, uh, cosmology. It's, it's a case of uh, give us one free miracle and we'll explain the rest. Well, um, what's unstated in the, in the so-called theory of evolution is that the, uh, the assumption of, of random mutation is like the free miracle, and um, that can't really be so because a, an organism would um, derive great benefits if it could actually hone and make more efficient uh, the, the business of mutation in the sense that if there were two competing organisms uh, in which, uh, in, in, in the case that one was mutating randomly and the other mutating non-randomly and in a more directed and appropriate way, then the second one would, would win the, the evolutionary race in the sense that it would be the more competitive species that would achieve the greater evolutionary speed and therefore put the, uh, the randomly mutating competitor out of business. And so what we're simply pointing out here is uh, the most basic logical error in the idea of um, random mutation followed by natural selection. And, and that is that if natural selection works, which is one half of the theory, then um, after any period of time, like millions of years, uh, the randomness uh, in the mutation process should have been selected out. And, and so there should, it should not be theoretically possible uh, for random mutation to exist. And so the, the idea of random mutation followed by natural selection is fundamentally self-contradictory and, and devoid of any logic in the sense that uh, the first question one would ask is, well, how on earth has it managed to remain random in the face of its theoretical partner, which is natural selection. And so it's unfortunate that um, evolutionary theory in biology is so deeply flawed uh, today in 2015, but that is the way we find it. And since nobody else seems to have pointed out this logical conundrum and this, this uh, life-threatening logical flaw in, in evolutionary theory, uh, it, it's, it's uh, something that we at the BioEdge feel uh, compelled to do. And so we'll leave you with that rather unfortunate um, observation on, on evolutionary history, and we trust that um, our peers will um, 
start from scratch in, in reformulating biological evolutionary theory in a more logical and self-consistent way that stands up to um, even the first uh, basic scrutiny. And so with that thought, we'll leave you here at the BioEdge, and we look forward to seeing you next time, and it's bye for now. Thank you.